Another sunny Saturday. Shops are open, pubs are open, it's almost like normality. But this is Edinburgh in August, and normal looks rather different. A year ago, these streets were very quiet, and while they're a way away from capacity right now, that will soon change. The Edinburgh Festival is back. Covid restrictions, reduced tourism may have hindered the carnival atmosphere, but there are still plenty of reasons to celebrate. It's early on Saturday morning here at the Royal Mile in Edinburgh. The streets are very quiet just now, but soon, in a few hours, and indeed for the next few weeks, this historic road will be paved with street performers, culture vultures and festival goers alike. Today is the first day of the Edinburgh Festival. It returns after a year off, and there were a few events last night, and that sure, they do have a reduced capacity and limited restrictions on what they can and can't perform, but in an open-air venue like this, the festival is returning in style. The Royal Mile is positively tranquil right now, but a swarm of performers is on its way in a way we haven't quite seen before. Accessibility and hybridization are the key words for this year's festival. There is a blend of online and in-person events, whilst indeed the fringe book and film festivals all take place at the same time. The hope is that people can blend their uh, festival experience by seeing events online, on streaming, as well as in-person and indeed outdoors at venues such as the Royal Mile. But not everyone is as happy to see its return. The Coburn Association sits just behind here, the Scottish Storytelling Centre. This week, their chairman, Professor Cliff Haig, has been outspoken in his belief that in August the city is given over to what he terms festivalisation. That means the hustle and bustle, the economic and social costs of staging such an event. Edinburgh's historic streets annually heave under its combined weight. Festival goers and locals have differing opinions. Some are concerned over congestion. Others keen to just have a laugh. Are you excited for the start of the festival? Yeah, no, I've heard some very good things about it. Um, I don't really know what to expect, so yeah, no, I'm definitely looking forward to it and kind of seeing what it's all about. Is there anything in particular you're keen to go and see? Nothing as such. To be honest, I don't know a whole a um, lot about what's going on, but no, just looking to, looking forward to just walking around the old town in particular and seeing if there's any street performers or just kind of, last night I actually ended up in St George's Square and it was kind of a cool vibe, just had a couple of drinks. And is this your first Edinburgh Festival, Amir? Yeah, that's my first uh, festival that I'm attending in Edinburgh and I'm really excited for it. What are you most excited about? Uh, it is going to be very uh, exploring one. Uh, a lot of uh, as being a first time into the city and uh, at, at attending the festival for the first time. So it will be a new adventure for me uh, that I'll going to be exploring and uh, we're going to learn a lot of things about it and uh, the way Edinburgh Festival and the culture it is. So it would be a very adventure for me to uh, explore and learn about it. So Nikki, you're just visiting Edinburgh today. Yes, I am. I'm here for a wedding. Lovely. And how are you finding the setup for the festival? Any congestion issues? Not really. In fairness, um, from previous years, it's actually very quiet. But nicely quiet, but it definitely doesn't have the buzz it's had from years before. Have you visited years before? Um, no, I actually haven't, but I've had lots of friends who have and seen lots of pictures and videos. And it, I know this street in particular is always far more packed than it is today. So, so you might be too busy to go and see a show? Um, well, to the day two of the wedding is actually at the Fringe Festival, so hopefully I will get to see something then. The festival returns more accessible than ever, which some would hope is a sign of things to come.